All right, let's talk about uh, Bernoulli's equation. Let's define, let's go ahead and define this notation, this weird, this H with this squiggly line uh, right down the middle. Let's define this to be the total energy head, okay? And that total energy head um, is, is this is Bernoulli's equation. It's defined to be v squared over 2 times gravity, so velocity squared over 2 times gravity, plus pressure over gamma, which is a specific weight, plus z. And z is just, a, it's just an altitude or a height. Okay, it's a measure of height or altitude. This term here is usually defined to be the uh, energy head of velocity, so we denoted HV. This right here is a uh, pressure head. This is uh, HS, uh, and I believe that stands for uh, position. And remember this, this is just altitude, altitude, okay? And we use Bernoulli's equation um, along streamlines, okay? And, and along every streamline, we can say that the total energy head is constant, okay? So say we had like a streamline, right? The total energy head here and here, point 0.1 and point 0.2, they would be the same, considering this streamline is part of a ideal flow, an ideal flow. And, and these conditions have to be met in order to use uh, the total energy head along a streamline, okay? And these conditions are that the fluid must be shearless, that the fluid must be incompressible, and homogeneous or homogeneous, homogeneous, okay, incompressible. Um, remember that's del dot v is equal to zero. Uh, the flow must be a steady flow, and the, and steady flow is it's pretty common. It's a it's a common. Uh, I guess aspect of most flows like a river. It's a, ri rivers are approximately pretty steady. Remember they don't depend on time. They don't change throughout time. Uh, something that would not be unsteady is maybe a uh, let's say a lava lamp where where the fluid is just changing shapes. The, the oil, the colored oil is changing shapes um, as time goes on. And lastly, uh, the flow must be irrotational. Irrotational. It shouldn't be rotating. This is pretty uncommon. Okay. Remember, irrotational is uh, when del cross v is equal to zero. Okay. That means it's 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 a uh, it's not spinning. And so, we can actually go ahead and define one more thing, hydraulic pressure. Hydraulic pressure is denoted H sub PS. That's equal to uh, the pressure head plus the static uh, position or the altitude. So. It would be it would be this without um, the velocity uh, pressure head or velocity head. So it'd be just pressure over gamma plus z plus a certain height. Okay. Uh, let's let's draw a line. Let's 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 look at a one-dimensional flow field.
let's see when we can use Bernoulli's equation, when we can use this this total energy head, okay? Um, say we had some kind of a one-dimensional flow, so everything's flowing in just one direction, okay? And, and um, okay. we can say that the pressure changes statically as we move up. Okay, so maybe we're looking at a, at a uh, we can say maybe a channel flow. If you're in a laboratory and you're looking at a, at a channel flow um, facing this way, so that as you, as you move, as you, as you look up, you see um, pressure changes. So the pressure would be greatest here and maybe zero here. Okay, so that's all this, 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 this line means. These all are streamlines, and and we're assuming a pretty uh, uniform velocity profile here. So the velocity along every single one of these points is is the same. Okay. If that's the case, we can approximate that the energy head here and here at points one and two along every streamline uh, they're equal to each other any streamline. Okay? So we'll be using uh, two main equations for the next couple of examples. Uh, the very first equation would be our newly learned uh, total energy head equation or Bernoulli's equation which is velocity squared over 2 times gravity plus the pressure over specific weight plus height. Okay? And our second equation is one we learned a while ago. The change in pressure is equal to the negative specific weight, or gamma, times the change in height.